good wishes dear students in today's class we will learn about evaluate yourself questions taken from page number 116 and 132 before i proceed further i would like to just remind you all once again now in this chapter that is hydroxy compounds and ether i did the concept set first and i'm working out evaluate yourself questions right now but when i do the next chapter in organic chemistry i will simultaneously do as i do the concept i will also try to do the book back questions and evaluate yourself questions so that your understanding becomes more and more thorough and confident now because when we work out the evaluate yourself question it's not possible for me to re explain once again all the details that are involved in and that is the reason i'm stressing on review or go back to the contents or the based on the concept that is done earlier only then you will know what i mean why this particular question is we are getting such type of products here so directly moving on to the question identify the products in the following reactions write their iupac names and mention the mechanism involved in the reaction question number 1 cyclopentanol when you treat it with a h2so4 and heat it we get cyclopentene first part of the question is given the product cyclopentanol becomes cyclopentene so when you see the reagent treating it with a h2so4 and heating you have learnt it under dehydration type of reactions where water is lost there cyclopentanol when you say oh is here cyclo structure you know that oh here from any one because there are four sites here fifth site one site is at bonded to oh there are four other corners for you all from any one corner one hydrogen combines with a oh and goes out as a water molecule so wherever the hydrogen is lost there we get the double bond simply have depicted in this case so all you need to remember is alcohol can be converted into an alkene by dehydration method that is removal of water molecule when we treat it in the presence of a h2so4 and heat it question number 2 butan 1 all or a butanol when you treat with sodium bromide in the presence of a h2so4 all this reagent conditions i have done when i taught the concept i'm keep on repeating that point so those of you are watching the video for the first time you may not understand directly when i go with the short forms so when you watch those videos you will understand better butanol you know how to write the structure because one all meaning the first carbon has got the oh group when you treat it with the sodium bromide easily you will understand na combines with the oh and goes out as a sodium hydroxide oh is occupied by the incoming br that's a halide group so what's the key concept here alcohol is converted into an alkyl halide this concept you have learned under nucleophilic substitution reaction so here ch3 ch2 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 all four butan group remains as it is oh group is replaced with the incoming halide group that is a bromide group so then i know upsc name of it will be 1 bromo butane plus sodium hydroxide the third question neopentyl alcohol when you treat it with a phosphorus pentachloride here now the word neo at the end of the question i'll explain to you what's the meaning of neo now this is the structure for neopentyl alcohol that is carbon is surrounded on all the four sides with the ch3 group on one side because it is an alcohol ch3 one hydrogen is replaced with a hydroxyl group when you treat it with a pcl5 that is phosphorus pentachloride there are so many other by product you need in bother about anything the main compound is as in the previous case hydroxyl group is replaced with a halide group so the whole structure remains as it is instead of oh we get a halide group that's a chloride here so neopentyl alcohol becomes neopentyl chloride now the type of mechanism followed here is here again nucleophilic substitution sn2 mechanism i have written in short conversion of alcohol into alkyl halide so if you watch the nucleophilic substitution reactions you will understand better electrophilic substitution reaction 
where the alkene is the bond form. I mean, alkene is being formed in terms of nucleophilic. Alcohol is converted into an alkyl halide. Not electrophilic elimination reaction. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Now, the clue that I want to give you here is tert. The previous evaluate yourself question, you came across a word tert. Some of you might know what you have learnt in standard 11. Few of you might have forgotten. For the sake of those children, I am repeating this point here. Tert when you say, just remember very easily. Carbon will be surrounded with a 3CH3 group. So, I have written surrounded by 3CH3 group. Neo when you say, Carbon is surrounded with the 4CH3 group. You know the valency of carbon is 4, meaning carbon should have the 4 bonds there. All 4 bonds will be, I mean all 4 sides it will be bonded with the CH3 group. So, surrounded by a 4CH3 group. So, tert in this case if you remember previous question I told you there will be only 3CH3 group. Neo means 4 group at one side 1 hydrogen in this question 1 hydrogen is replaced with a hydroxyl group. So, the key concept tert means C3CH3 group will be there. Neo means 4CH3 group will be there. Iso when we say 2CH3 group will be there. Because on the next page the question that I am going to work out you will come across the word iso. So, tert means 3. Neo means 4. Iso means 2CH3 group. Moving on to the next evaluate yourself question taken from page number 134. You can also see page number 132 and 34 I have written. Now the simple difference here is page number 132 they have given you the structure asked you for the same result. Page number 134, they have given you the name and asked you for the same result. So, here structure is given, question product is asked for you all. Their name is given, product is asked, but they are one and the same. You can read through the question, you will understand better. Which of the following set of reactants will give 1 methoxy 4 nitrobenzene? Now, this is a structure given. So, that is, if you go to name it, 4 nitro 1 bromobenzene, treating it with the sodium methoxide. And I have not written anything. The second option is 4 nitro sodium phenoxide. Remember, here you've got a bromo group, here you've got a sodium phenoxide. Sodium group you have got here. Treating it with a here in case sodium methoxide. Here is a methyl bromide. Now in this case you can see what I have written. Na and Br will combine together go out as a NaBr. Already you have O. The CH3 will come in. So the name of the compound is as we expected. 1 methoxy 4 nitrobenzene. Methoxy you know the ethyl IUPAC name. I mean way of naming the uh, ethyl uh, functional group, methyl group and oxygen here. So, 1 methoxy 4 nitrobenzene. Little explanation I have written. Reaction B is the correct answer because what is the given question? Which of the following set of reactants will give 1 methoxy 4 nitrobenzene? So, 4 nitro sodium phenoxide. Treating it with a methyl bromide will give us 1 methoxy 4 nitrobenzene. You can also say Na will combine with a Br and go out as a NaBr OCH3 will come in here. It will not take place. Why is it so? The reason I have written reaction A will not occur since ether cannot be prepared. By treating bromobenzene or iodobenzene. Remember, this is sodium phenoxide. When you have a bromo group or iodo group, it becomes a bromobenzene or iodobenzene with the sodium salts of the corresponding alcohol. So, here bromo or iodobenzene in case of ether preparation because methoxy, when we say ether preparation, we are talking about it. So, bromo or iodo group will not treat with the sodium salt of the corresponding alcohol like sodium methoxide or ethoxide. This is sodium methoxide. So, I hope you understand the point here. So, sodium phenoxide will treat it with the like you know methyl bromide or ethyl bromide any of this group. But bromo or iodobenzene will not treat with sodium uh, salts there to form the ether formation. 
moving on to the question number 2 from the same page i'm sorry question number 3 when phenol is treated with a propen 2 ol in the presence of hydrogen fluoride friedel crafts reaction takes place identify the product here phenol you know the functional group how to write down the structure propen 2 ol also you know how to write down when we treat it in the presence of a hydrogen fluoride it undergoes friedel crafts reaction so the formation of a new product you need to show here so here again oh will combine with a h this oh will remain as it is here propen 2 wall this oh will combine with a, any one position either ortho para or meta position so will combine it with this here and goes out as a water molecule now this place is occupied by the incoming group i mean the leftover of the propen 2 wall after the removal of hydroxyl ion it will go in here so what happens ch3 ch ch3 bond line structure you can depict you know that the line n stands for ch3 group here ch3 group here and ch here and bonded on this side here so the name of it will be ortho isopropyl phenol and that's the point i told you iso the word stands for 2 ch3 group third the word stands for 3 ch3 group neo the word stands for 4 ch3 group so the formation of the structure is very easy phenol when you treat with the propen to one or two all water is lost there the whole thing goes and combines it wherever the hydrogen is lost goes and joins there so in this case the name of the structure is ortho isopropyl phenol moving on to the second question taken from the same page 132 what happens when meta crisol you know that ortho per meta and para position so meta crisol is treated with the acidic solution of sodium dichromate now this is the structure of crisol crisol toluene benzene with a ch3 is toluene benzene with a oh and ch3 is called as a crisol so meta when you say meta position we have an hydroxyl group treating it with a sodium dichromate in the presence of a h plus ion you have learned this already salicylic acid we get what's the formula for a salicylic acid benzene ring with a oh and cooh iupac name of it will be if you take it here 4 hydroxy benzoic acid here so the reaction is a very simple meta crisol when you treat it with the sodium dichromate acidic solution in the presence of a h plus we get salicylic acid or a 4 hydroxy benzoic acid thank you